I'm here with Jason from Sennheiser, and today we're going to be talking about uh, scalability. Jason, when I'm speaking to integrators who are delivering hybrid spaces for modern meetings, scalability seems to be a really important thing. They want to make sure that the space can cater for a fixed number of people and then scale that up and scale that down as needed. Um, the TC bar, does it have scalability? What can it do? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Haraya. Um Scalability is very much part of the DNA of, of the TC bar family. Um, when we talk about Team Connect as a whole, the pedigree of that product has actually come down from the successful TCC2 and the Team Connect Ceiling Medium uh, more recently released. But we're actually taking what was potentially a fixed product and providing an ecosystem of expansion to it with products that are not an afterthought. So what I mean by that is generally a bar is the perfect form factor for a small or mid-sized space to a certain degree. Um, and not every space is equal. Some may have extenuating circumstances or maybe an odd shaped environment and you need augmentation. Um, but often in the past, that augmentation has been a bolt on afterthought or an accessory to the bars. Um, what we wanted to do was take the, the, the real uh, expansion capabilities that TCCM and TCC2 and as well as our other products provide and leverage the Dante transport infrastructure to expand that product. Um, so we take the ability to use network-based audio transport into those video bars um, and make them truly scalable products. Uh, and we talk about expansion of microphone coverage, but there's also the ability to use USB to bring external additional cameras into that system as well. So the TC bar then becomes a hub of some description, um, a point of connectivity for all those uh, accessory devices to scale that system up. But, you know, lastly, when you talk about scalability, there's management, you know, of of these multiple devices generally at scale also means multiple spaces within an environment and the ability to maintain and monitor all of those uh, with the control cockpit software platform becomes a key part of that story of of why the tc bars are such a compelling product uh, i want to quickly hone in on two things that you mentioned dante and usb right uh industry standards right things that that everyone should be familiar with um, could you shed light on why you chose that to be the option for scalability with your TC bar and the wider uh, ecosystem that you talk about? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we we want to take very much an agnostic approach to scalability, mm -hmm. uh, to tie people into a closed ecosystem and say, you need to use this proprietary technology for distribution or expansion um, becomes a little challenging and less flexible in terms of uh, adapting to the real world. Um, Again, these solutions are very much at first glance uh, an all-in-one uh, system in a box, but that's not the reality in the real world. Uh, often these uh, environments already have network-based audio transport in some of the larger spaces, so that infrastructure is there to provide for that expansion. Um, and then Dante gives us the ability to have that end customer decide what works in their environment to expand with the, the TC bars. So it may be adding a wireless microphone for a presentation environment or adding a you know, wireless gooseneck mic to uh, augment coverage at a lectern um, or to bring an external ceiling microphone in. The other advantage is that we also get to take that audio signal out of that, that TC bar and pass that into hearing augmentation systems, um, much like the mobile connect through using that Dante audio transport as the infrastructure. Uh, and USB is, standard amongst uh, external webcams. So it's a, a no-brainer for us to use that infrastructure that's already there. Um, you, you highlighted this agnostic approach, right? And it is something that is adopted across the board, right? There are people who will want to have a walled garden or an ecosystem that they have complete control over. Um, could you expand a bit more on what this agnostic approach means for the AV professionals, the guys who are designing and deploying and what benefits it brings to them? Yeah, so the agnostic approach means we don't have to tie a, an end customer into a particular choice of the end-to-end -end solution. If they wish to mix and match, um, uh, you know, components within that that greater system design, be that in one space or in multiple spaces that they scale across their complexes, um, the ability to have choice 
on what platforms they wish to use at each of those signal processing systems within the chain. It just means that the customer can decide what they want to use rather than saying it has to be all Sennheiser end to end. Um, in saying that, you know, we create a certain pocket of devices that live within those system designs. There are other manufacturers that that, that do the rest of that system uh, uh, ecosystem that bolts on to the Sennheiser offering. Um, but we want to make the on-ramps for the end customer in those environments simple. So the alliance partnerships we develop with our, our key partners and other manufacturers means that no matter what choice that that end customer decides to use within their greater system design, it's the choice of using a Sennheiser product is simplifying their deployment across those spaces because the on-ramp is simple. It's already pre-tested before it goes out to site. Um, the alliances are a continuing dialogue and ensuring compatibility between manufacturers um, and their device interfacing with something else in that signal chain. So uh, it just it's it's about giving that end customer choice as to what they want to use within their environments. Yeah, and that seems like a smart thing to do. Make sure the end user has as many choices as possible. Jason, thank you so much for your time. My pleasure, Harada. Thanks for having us.